Good evening and welcome to Evening Prayers for Tuesday evening. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Your word is a lantern to my feet and a light upon my path. Your decrees are my inheritance forever. Truly they are the joy of my heart. How sweet are your words to my taste. They are sweeter than honey to my mouth. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. Tonight's psalm is Psalm 121, one of the better known of the psalms, where the psalmist asks a question, where shall my help come from? And answers that it comes from the maker of heaven and earth. And he looks to the heavens in hope. I've chosen tonight from my Dutch friends' resources, from Nadel on Zinkt, a Dutch rendition of Psalm 121. If you're not familiar with Dutch, see how much of this you recognise from the familiar, wor familiar words of Psalm 121. Our Old Testament reading is from the first book of Joshua, sorry, the first chapter of Joshua, the first nine verses. After the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord, the Lord spoke to Joshua, son of Nun, Moses' assistant, saying, My servant Moses is dead. Now proceed to cross the Jordan, you and all this people, into the land that I am giving to them, to the Israelites. Every place that the sole of your foot will tread upon, I have given to you as I promised to Moses. From the wilderness and the Lebanon, as far as the great river, the river Euphrates, all the land of the Hittites to the great sea in the west shall be your territory. No one shall be able to stand against you all the days of your life. As I was with Moses, so I will be with you. I will not fail you or forsake you. Be strong and courageous, 
for you shall put this people in possession of the land that I swore to their ancestors to give them. Only be strong and very courageous, being careful to act in accordance with all the law that my servant Moses commanded you. Do not turn from it to the right hand or to the left, so that you may be successful wherever you go. This book of the law shall not depart out of your mouth. You shall meditate on it day and night, so that you may be careful to act in accordance with all that is written in it. For then you shall make your way prosperous, and then you shall be successful. I hereby command you, be strong and courageous. Do not be frightened or dismayed. The Lord your God is with you wherever you go. And tonight's carol is the carol Love Shone Down. And our New Testament reading is from the Gospel of St. John, chapter 15, 
verses 1 to 16. I am the true vine and my father is the vine grower. He removes every branch in me that bears no fruit. Every branch that bears fruit, he prunes to make it bear more fruit. You have already been cleansed by the word that I have spoken to you. Abide in me as I abide in you. Just as the branch cannot bear fruit by itself unless it abides in the vine, neither can you unless you abide in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. Those who abide in me and I in them bear much fruit because apart from me, you can do nothing. Whoever does not abide in me is thrown away like a branch and withers. Such branches are gathered, thrown into the fire and burned. If you abide in me and my words abide in you, ask for whatever you wish and it will be done for you. My Father is glorified by this, that you bear much fruit and become my disciples. As the Father has loved me, so I have loved you. Abide in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will abide in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and abide in his love. I have said these things to you, so that my joy may be in you, and that your joy may be complete. This is the commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. No one has greater love than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. I do not call you servants any longer, because the servant does not know what the master is doing. But I have called you friends, because I have made known to you everything that I have heard from my father. You did not choose me, but I chose you. And I appointed you to go and bear fruit, fruit that will last, so that the father will give you whatever you ask him in my name. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Some journeys take much, much longer than we might hope. The journey from slavery to the promised land was one such long journey. And tonight's Old Testament reading from Joshua picks up that journey when the main driver is no longer there. Moses great hero of faith, the leader and figure that had led God's people through the Red Sea, away from slavery and towards the land of promise, of milk and honey and future joy. But Moses does not see the end of the journey that he led his people on. And on the brink that job of leading is bequeathed to Joshua, described in tonight's reading as Moses' assistant. He's told, my servant Moses is dead, now you proceed to cross the Jordan, you and all this people, into the land that I'm giving you, giving to them, to the Israelites. And he, in two words, gives an instruction which is easier said than done. Be strong. Well, there are times, it seems to me, that many of us know that we are anything but strong. Some of us know that we're not strong physically. Others also know not strong when it comes to facing the really tough stuff. So to be told be strong, and actually be strong and courageous is, I say it again, easier said than done. Oh, don't be afraid. Cheer up. It'll be all right. The best of intentions 
can be in the minds of such folk who say such words to us, but there can be a chasm between their speaking of it and our feeling of it. Often it is when we are literally shaking with fear that we then told be strong and courageous. And at the end of the reading, be strong and courageous. Do not be frightened or dismayed. The journey that all of us are on, albeit in different boats, is that journey, please God, away from the restrictions that COVID has placed upon us, the loss and the pain it has inflicted on some. It is a journey that many of us, like the children we once were from the back seat, would yell out, are we nearly there yet? We cannot know. We can but hope that the vaccine will itself hasten and speed up the journey. And in the journey, the voice of the Lord addressed to Moses originally, addressed to Joshua, addressed without pause for God's people across the ages. Be strong and courageous. Do not be frightened or dismayed. And before we can retort, easier said than done, God, the voice continues, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. The God who urges us to be strong and courageous, who urges us to not be afraid, to be not frightened or dismayed, promises, yes, a word of promise, I am with you wherever you go. And in that sense, God might be saying, it's not me just saying it to you. Be strong and courageous. Don't be frightened or dismayed. I'm saying I'm in this with you. So much so, fast forward in this, the last night of the 12 nights of celebrating Christmas. I'm with it, with you. God with us in the one born in the manger, the one who said at the end, the other side of the, cr the cross of pain and death for him, lo, I am with you always, even to the end of time. And yes, with that promise, why not be open to the fact that you'll find more strength and courage than you'd ever imagine because of, yes, Emmanuel. Amen. Let us pray. Loving creator of all, watch over us this night and keep us in the light of your presence. May our praise continually blend with the song of all creation until we come to those eternal joys which you promise in your love. Through Jesus Christ, our Saviour. Amen. O God, our Father, whose word has come among us in the Holy Child of Bethlehem, may the light of faith illumine our hearts and shine in our words and deeds. Through him who is Christ the Lord and lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. Blessed are you, sovereign God, saviour of all. You give light to those who walk in darkness and desire that in every place prayer shall be offered in Jesus' name. We bless you for the gifts of your grace for the gathering together of your people, for sins forgiven and for lives made new, for light that shines from the scriptures, for love made known at your table, 
and for the foretaste of heaven in the communion of saints. Hope of the nations, refuge of the weary, blessed are you, sovereign God, light of the world. Amen. It is good to see that we have our good friend Tom Schumann with us and he invites us to pray with him for the United States. We certainly will, Tom, and we ask you in turn to pray for us here in the UK and for Onkatea and our friends in the Netherlands as each nation faces the fear of Covid and in your country, Tom, the great uncertainty of this transition from one presidency to another. So at evening time, let us offer our prayers to God. Let us pray for the church, that we may be moved to pursue truth and justice, that we, in succession to Moses and Joshua and all who have stepped into unknown territories on unknown journeys, do so with your promise that in you we may know courage and strength beyond our own as you walk with us and journey with us as once you did with Moses and Joshua, as among us you are in Emmanuel, God with us. God of mercy, hear our prayer. Let us pray for the whole earth that we may protect the beauty of creation. God of mercy, hear our prayer. Let us pray with Tom for the United States. Firstly, for courage and hope in the face of Covid. And secondly, in the face of the uncertain and difficult transition from one presidency to the next, for the turmoil and division, the contempt and the despair upon the United States. Have mercy, we ask. Bless your church, all folk of faith and goodwill in that country, that justice may prevail. God of mercy, hear our prayer. Let us pray for our own communities, for those who lead us in faith and for those we serve. Praying for the churches of our East Midland Synod and tonight in particular, the ministers, elders and members of our congregations in Leicestershire. God of mercy, hear our prayer. Let us pray for those who suffer from illness, oppression or despair. We continue to pray with Celia for her grandson Alfie, Alfie's mum and dad and those who care for him. We pray with Alison and Paul for James. With Onkatea for Sarah. And with Liz for Jay and for Jay's mum. We pray with all and any who know right now that sense of desperate need, that feeling potentially of Joshua's, that being strong and courageous, not being frightened or dismayed is a big mountain to climb. Let us pray for all for whom mental health has been deeply impacted by COVID, by a whole range of other worries and uncertainties. Grant us compassion, as in the one hand, we take confidence in the promise of God that he is the source of our strength and courage, but enable us to find the words and the right empathy for those who find belief in strength and courage a mountain too tall to climb. We pray for all who don't feel strong or courageous tonight as they don PPE 
stand in the face of this horrid virus, risk their own lives and families as they care for all who are desperate. We pray for those who work in care homes. And we pray for all who work in schools, colleges, universities and nurseries. Those who right now don't have the lockdown we've been asked to take, but still have to share their time and risk with others. Inspired by Jesus' words in tonight's gospel, greater love has no one than that they lay down their lives for their friends. We thank you for those whose sacrifice of, of time and risk are for the benefit of others. Grant them the strength and the courage promised to Joshua, the presence that is among us in Emmanuel. God of mercy, hear our prayer. Holy God, we give you thanks for having brought us to the end of this day. Let our prayer arise before you and your blessing descend upon us. We ask this through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless us with his grace and fill us with his peace. Amen.
Good night.